Hello, Vikes. Today we're going to talk about a very anticipated sequel to the critically acclaimed title, Life is Strange. I'm Cody. I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. Sleep in a Box is this Saturday. We caught up with Mr. Collins to learn more about it. I'm here today with Mr. Collins to learn more about Sleep in the Box. What is Sleep in the Box? Sleep in a Box is a fundraiser and uh, awareness that Interact puts on every year. And Interact is the Seaman High School Youth Rotary Club. What we do is uh, we have two objectives. We want to be able to give back to the community. So we have three organizations that we donate money to from the event. And then the other thing that we want to do is that we want to be able to provide awareness for the homeless problem in our community. And why should kids get involved in Sleep in the Box? Well, uh, aside from the fact that it's a worthy cause, it's a tremendous amount of fun. You get to go to the football field Saturday night. You get to sleep in a box or a tent or some other abode that you construct um, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday morning. Uh, we play fun games throughout the night. We play music. Uh, we have dignitaries from the community, from the three organizations that we donate to, as well as individuals individuals from the school board and individuals from the North Topeka Rotary who help us put on the event. Okay, and then how do kids sign up? Well, all they need to do is come pick up a registration form in my room and uh, then turn that registration form in with a signed consent letter from their parents and pay $10 per person. Okay, thank you Mr. Collins. Sounds like a lot of fun. Now for the rest of announcements. There are many t-shirts on sale right now. For a spirit shirt, see Miss Geis. For an anti-bullying shirt, check Schoology. And for a senior women's shirt, see Reg and Bond. Students wanting to take the National Mer Merit Scholarship Test on October 10th should pay the bank $16 and bring the receipt to Miss Aliker so she can give you a practice book. Congratulations to Cole King for being named a commended student in the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. The Fine Arts Booster Council is having a contest to design a flag that represents the organization. There is a $100 prize for the winning design. K-State Engineering Scholars Day is Monday, October 22nd. Deadline to sign up is October 8th. Registration link can be found on your Class of 19 Schoology page. Meet sticks are now for sale. They are available during past period and seminar. Author Neil Schusterman will be here October 11th. Students wanting to attend should sign up through the library group on Schoology or stop by the library. There is a fundraiser for SHS History Day at Pi 5. Go stop by and get a pizza. International Thespian Society is hosting a canned food drive during seminar during the month of October. If there are any questions, see, please see Ms. Murphy. The first episode of Sagas airs tonight. Here is the promo. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for a new season of Sagas. I'm Regan Bond. Sagas is a news magazine created three times a semester and is made up of feature stories involving Seaman High School and the Seaman community. The theme for this show is new. Tonight's show, we look at a new teaching method, new school opening in the district, and a new threat to women. Make sure to check it out. Now over to Alley with sports after a commercial break. It is Homecoming Spirit Week. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday is Jersey Day. Wednesday's favorite holiday day. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Thursday is Kindergarten Picture Day. And Friday is Hawaiian Day. Hey, what are you doing? 
Sleep in a Box, haven't you heard of it? Sleep in a Box is this weekend. It's a fun event to help raise money for the rescue mission and food for local shelters sponsored by Interact. It costs $10 per person. Individuals can sign up through Friday. Come be a part of the event and enjoy games, music and dancing, and sleep out in a box, all for charity. See Mr. Collins to sign up. There's a football game tonight at Hummer against Topeka High. The theme is American. Soccer... <laughs> Soccer has a game tonight at Highland Park. Make sure and wish them luck. Powder Puff is on October 13th. Students interested can sign up with Miss Olson in the office. Now over to Josh Duncan with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We do have some changes to the forecast to talk about, but first, let's take a look at the updated drought monitor, which still shows Shawnee County in the extreme drought. So that's something we're continuing to track as we move toward the drier season. Now, tonight at the football game, temperatures will generally be in the 60s, clear skies and no rain is expected. So pretty good weather as you're heading out tonight. As we head into Friday night into Saturday, though, there is a chance for some rain across the state. I'm thinking that a tenth of an inch to a quarter inch is likely, but there could be some isolated locations that receive a quarter to a half inch or even more than that on an isolated basis Friday night into Saturday. And as we go further into Saturday, some high uncertainty develops with the models all over the place in terms of high temperatures as the cold front tries to push through and then lifts back up as a warm front High temperatures could possibly range at this point from 51 to 77. And that's why on your SVTV 7-day forecast, you'll see that we just have question marks for Saturday. But one thing that is more certain is Sunday through Wednesday, we jump back into the 80s. Now, back to your anchors. So, Cody, what's this life is strange thing you keep telling me about? Well, all I know is, is that it's about a game with kids who have superpowers. We go over to Alfred to learn more about it. Life is Strange is a popular episodic video game that came out on January 30th in 2015 and was played by many different gaming channels. Like, okay, Life is Strange is basically a game in which you play as Max, who has the ability to go back in time and change things, and she's going to college and she's trying to solve, like, these mysteries. It's kind of like a mystery story-based role-playing game. So as you progress through the story, you try to find out more about characters and you try to determine what's going on in the town. As you play, you are trying to figure out like there's something wrong. There's like a giant storm that's coming. As you play as Max, she gets these visions of the future and she's trying to figure out how to prevent it or try to save the people that she loves from, from dying to the storm. Life is Strange Season 2 will follow the story of two brothers going down to their family home in Mexico. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting because uh, the first set of characters have uh, kind of, it, se it seems a little unnecessary to bring them back because it feels like their story has already been told and that there's nothing that needs to be elaborated there. Um, I'm kind of sad because I really liked Max and I liked Chloe. That was a good storyline, but like, I get it. It can kind of like ver vary the world so we can see different parts of like what the world is like. So then they can kind of make, if they ever do a third season, they can kind of do something that's bigger and bolder than they have with the first two seasons. One of the differences with season two is the ability to time travel will not be implemented, but a new power will be introduced instead. I think they're gonna put in uh um, telekinesis, which is the power to move things around with your brain, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I would say either like some sort of like ability to either go invisible or like travel faster because like in the first game, going back in time, you were able to know what was going to happen in advance so you could play the game around it. If it's um, if they can change it up and like do invisibility or something like that, they would be able to like do different stuff. Like they would be able to change how the gameplay works, but still keep that same feel. Like oh, because you can do this, you'll be able to know what's coming. So like we'll give the same at least gameplay feel for the game. Life is Strange season two episode one comes out today on Steam, PlayStation Four, 
and Xbox One. So why don't you check it out? I think there are going to be some surprises that come along. If you're into a good story-driven game, check it out. That's all we have for today, Vikings. If you like the shirts we were wearing today, make sure you get one this week or next week at lunch for $15. Have a great rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.